What is going on guys, it's Panjano here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate guide to increasing your internet speed, increasing your download speed, and lowering your ping. This could be either for gaming, just normal internet browsing, or just general PC usage. This works on both wired and Wi-Fi connections, so it doesn't matter whereabouts in the household you are, or whether it be in an office building or anything like that, it does not matter how you're connected to the internet, it just needs to be, you just need to make sure that you have somewhat of a connection to the internet for this to work. Now throughout this tutorial guys, if you guys need any help or anything like that, please do consult into the comment section below. Feel free to leave me a comment. Feel free to leave feedback after this video as well, telling me how much of an increase that you've had. Or if you have any questions along the way, please do go into the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So moving on from that, what we're going to be doing is going into the description below and clicking on the three links. We're going to start off by downloading TCP Optimizer. This program basically allows you to edit the properties of your network adapter with inside of your PC so we can change the values and make sure they're better suited to ensuring that you guys have the best connection possible. So go ahead, hit the download button down here and you'll see it's downloading. Also going to be going in and downloading Spybot Anti Beacon. Now, for you guys who think this part might be a little bit sketchy just by the name of the program, don't be. Again, if you don't want to do this part, you can just skip out the Spybot Anti Beacon part if you wish to, but I do recommend that everyone goes ahead and does it. Quick background on the program can be found here. It basically stops and blocks various telemetry issues presenting inside of Windows 10. This basically means that Microsoft can send tracking information back from your PC to their servers. It is somewhat of a spyware that is built inside of Windows 10, and you can block all that from happening, and it will stop using your web resources and will stop using your CPU resources as well to do so. Again, this is very minor, but every little helps. So again, if you guys want to do this part, head down here and hit download version 1.6, or if there happens to be a new version, download that as well. Next one I want you guys to do is go over to speedtest.net, which a link is in the description. So once you're on speed test, just hit the go button and run a speed test and keep note of your, what your ping is, your upload speed and your download speed. Keep that tab open and then come back later on after doing this guide, after you restart your PC, run another speed test, and then let me know in the comment section below how much of an increase that you've had. So starting off, once you've downloaded the programs, I put them on my desktop you'll be given two programs just like this. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by using TCP Optimizer. Right click on the program and run it as an administrator to ensure that everything works properly. Okay, so, so starting off, you're going to be given a program like this and you're not really going to be able to use any options with inside of Windows. What we want you guys to go ahead and do is go down here to choose settings and we're going to go with custom. Now to ensure that we're editing all the network adapters on your PC, hit the modify all network adapters. And just a quick reminder guys, you can always revert back to stock settings if you just press the Windows default button found here and hit apply changes, but we're not going to be doing that. I'm just saying if afterwards you're not happy with the results or anything like that, you can always go back to Windows default by pressing that and hitting apply. But go back to custom, we're going to hit modify all network adapters found here in the left hand side. Now what we're going to be doing is starting off by going to the top where connection speed is found. Now inside of speed test, your download speed is basically what you're going to be setting this to. So if you had a one download speed, you're going to set it to one, 1 1.5 or whatever the value was for your download speed. So for me, I have just over 100 on the download speed. That's what I should be getting. If you guys know what you should be getting from your internet provider, put it up to there as well. If you guys know you should be getting 20 then put it to 20 but for me it's 100 so set that value to what you should be getting then what we're going to be doing is going over down here and setting the MTU to 1500 now what I'm going to be doing is coming down here and setting TCP window auto tuning to normal Windows scaling heuristics is going to be set to disabled congestion control provider is going to be CTCP again for you guys on Windows 7 or a different version of Windows to Windows 10 you guys will more than likely have different options here and if you go down into the description below Windows 7 settings will be screenshotted you all you have to do is just copy them Receive side scaling is going to be set to enabled. R summon colising is going to be set to enabled. Direct cache access enabled. Now on the left hand side, time to live is going to be set to 64. ECN compatibility is going to be set to disabled. Check some offloading is going to be set to disabled. This is also going to be set to disabled. TCP chimney offload and large send offload disabled. TCP 123 disabled. Now, once you guys have done with that, we're going to be moving on to the advanced settings found here at the top. Now, at the top, we're going to be setting the top value to 10, which is max connections per 1.0 server. Max connections per server is also going to be set to 10. Sorry, that was set to 19, set that to 10. Local priority is going to be set to 4. Host priority is going to be set to 5. DNS priority 6. NEB BT priority is going to be set to 7. Max SYN retransitions is going to be set to 2 and non-SAC RTT resiliency is going to be set to disabled. Max RTO is going to be set to 2000. Minimum RTO is going to be set to 300. Now moving back onto the top right, the QoS non-best effort limit is going to be set to zero. We're going to be setting the QoS do not use NLA to optimal. Under the gaming tweaks, we're going to be setting these to disabled FFFFF for network throttling index. System responsiveness, we're going to be setting to gaming. Even if you're not using gaming, we definitely want this to be set to zero, which is zero gaming. We're going to be setting the TCP ACK frequency to disabled. 
TCP no delay is going to be set to enabled one. TCP del ACK ticks is going to be set to disabled. Large system cache is going to be set to default and size is going to be default one. We're then going to be setting the max user port to 65534 and underneath here the TCP timed wait delay is going to be set to 30. Now once you guys are done inputting these settings again you can just pause the video make sure that everything is set to the correct ones. Again this is completely unique to your connection up here that's the only part that's unique to your connection. Make sure that modify all adapters is checked and all you have to do then is hit the apply button. It's going to show you the apply changes, it's going to show you everything that you've changed and press ok. You can also select the backup here if you wish to, I don't, press ok and the program could take a little while to apply the change just select the program do it it'll say some registry changes may require a reboot to take effect would you like to reboot now we're not personally going to reboot right now we're going to run through spybot real quick and then we're going to reboot after this so press no and then you can just exit out of tcp optimizer okay so moving on from there what we're going to do is go into the bottom left of your pc and type run press enter and you'll be given a box that looks just like this inside of this box you need to type gp edit dot msc just like that once that's been typed out just like that press ok and you'll be given this screen right here what you guys need to do is go into the top left go to computer configuration go into administrative templates instead of there you guys need to go into the network folder scroll down until you see go into the qos packet scheduler now inside of here you need to go to limit reservable bandwidth double click on it and inside of here hit the enabled button and then type zero press apply and press ok open it again just to make sure that the zero is applied and it is enabled and just press ok and you can exit out of there okay moving on from there what we're going to be doing is setting our own dns servers inside of your network adapter what you need to do is go into the bottom right right click on your internet icon inside of there you need to go into open network and sharing center now once you're inside of here you need to go into change adapter settings inside of here you need to select your network adapter for me i'm using ethernet if you guys have wi-fi or whatever it is that you're using for your network adapter right click on it and go to properties inside of here we're going to be scrolling down and we're going to be selecting internet protocol version 4 and we're going to be going and selecting it by highlighting it and going to properties inside of here we're going to be selecting the use following dns server addresses and for the top one this is google's open dns by the way we're going to be setting it to 8888 8, 8. and the bottom one we're going to be setting to 8844 4. now inside of there once you're done with that what you need to do is just press ok and close once you're done inside of there you can close out of everything to do with your network connection and we are done so once you guys are done inside of TCP Optimizer, we're going to be running into Spybot Anti-Beacon Setup. Double click on the setup, install it in whatever language you wish to do so, press OK, hit the I accept this agreement, hit next, and you want to make sure that refresh immunization after each system restart is selected. This ensures that everything is blocked every time you reboot your PC. Press next and install. Again, this part here is completely optional. If you guys do not wish to do so, just restart your PC and you can just run with the TCP Optimizer settings. We're going to be launching Spybot Anti-Beacon. Now inside of here, you can see that all of mine are blocked because I've had this program installed before and I've set this to do so. Yours is not going to say this. If you guys have not installed this before, yours is not going to say this. You're more than likely going to see a bunch of red. All you guys need to do is go down to the bottom, hit the immunize button. Press that. It'll take a little while to make sure that they're all blocked. Once it comes up all in green, again, if this does not block everything, run the program again as administrator. Inside of here, you can see the options if you wish to do so. If you guys are into all of that stuff, I personally am not, so hit hide. And we can also go into the optional ones found inside of here. Now, you can apply these yourself because these, again, might restrict some Windows things. If you guys do not know what you're doing inside of here, don't even come into the optional tab. That's completely fine. But I wish to remove everything. So I'm going to hit apply on all of these. OneDrive service, I'm going to make sure that's completely blocked remote registry service i'm going to block that telemetry hosts block and all the office stuff is also going to be blocked i'm going to scroll down just to make sure that everything is blocked oh office 16 block that as well and once you guys are done inside of there all you have to do is just close out the program and it's as simple as that if you guys wish to go in and re-enable those things all you have to do is just hit the undo buttons and just reapply them it's very simple to do so so again everything in this tutorial can be reverted so if for some reason you guys are not happy with the results you can also just go back in and reset everything like i told you to do so for 99.9 .9 of you guys you you should see a relatively decent increase and even if for you guys who just play games you should see a lot less stuttering you should see a lot less network sluggishness again if you guys are just watching videos online or just downloading items or you just want lower ping or better responsiveness in any aspect of using the web 
then you guys are definitely going to get that from this tutorial. Again, go into the comment section below if you guys need any help with anything or if you have any questions regarding anything to do with, so with this tutorial. If you guys can also now just run a speed test after restarting your PC to make sure all settings are applied and let me know how much of an increase you guys have got. And it would also be fantastic if you guys could go ahead and leave a like on this video and share it to any friends or family who might be having internet issues or just want a significant increase anyway. I have access to a very good connection, but I also do these to ensure that I'm getting the best of that connection. That would be incredibly deep appreciated. If you guys don't also mind subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell for other tutorials based on almost anything to do with PCs, gaming, and the such, please do so. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Pangelo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.